Kraft has been putting out a ton of updates lately, and I've been doing some really interesting things with it since I last talked about it on this channel. The first thing I wanna talk about is a document I created called Launchpad. Now, people have been making this kind of document in other apps like Obsidian and Notion and even Craft for a while now. So this isn't original to me. I did not discover this or come up with this. Uh, I'm definitely curbing it off other people. But what this is is basically a table of contents to all the different things I'm currently working on. I use Craft's backlinking feature to link all these notes to this page. So when I jump into Craft and I wanna see, hey, what's going on with my sponsorships or what video projects I'm working on, or if I wanna like work on some ideas that I've had, like if I you know, had a thought pop in my head for a video idea and I wanna just quickly write it out, I can do that here. I also have a section in here for stuff I wanna check out. So links to products or things that I might wanna feature on the channel or apps or whatever. I can just drop them in here if I don't have time to really fully research them in the moment. And then I can get back to it whenever I want. This just allows really quick access to everything that I'm working on. And I really like this idea. Like I said, I've seen other people do this in different ways. I've seen people basically make task managers for this kind of things, uh, read it later services, so many different things and so many different angles where you can take this from. Personally, I just wanna focus on note taking and research. Another thing that I've been doing with Craft is Kanban. Now, Craft doesn't have a native Kanban view, but you can kind of build your own. So what I did is I used headings, just simple markdown headings, and built out the different sections. So, you know, you can have step one, step two, step three, step four. And then I will take the content, turn it into cards, and then just drag that card into the individual step that it needs to be. So whether it's step one, step two, step three of the Kanban view. This has been really great for tracking sponsorships, tracking steps where I am in big projects and things like that. It's a really nice setup. I don't know if they will ever add a native Kanban view to Craft. I, I'm not sure it is that kind of app. It would be nice if they did, but I wouldn't hold it against them if they didn't. But in the meantime, this works great. It's really easy to drag and drop the cards between the different steps. Another thing that I've been doing is using Zapier and Pushcuts to automate creating notes for craft. Now I talked about this in a recent automation video, so I'm just gonna quickly cover it here for those that didn't watch that. Uh, basically what this does is Zapier watches an Airtable database. And anytime I add a new entry to my video idea database, Zapier sees that and passes the name of that entry along to Pushcut. And Pushcut triggers a shortcut, which again, passes that name along. And when it passes that name along, it will open craft, create a new node in there, and the name of that Airtable entry now becomes the name of that craft node. What's nice about this is it's consistent. So anytime I add something to my Airtable idea database, it creates the note in craft so I can just start working on the idea right away. One feature that I've been using a lot more since I made that craft video is the quick open feature. It's the magnifying icon in the top right corner. When you hit that, you can type in the title of a note, the contents of a note, and it'll show up in that search field. So you can just quickly open something. It's really nice to have when you're jumping between multiple notes. Paperlike is a channel sponsor, and what it is is a textured screen protector. So what this means is when you're writing with the Apple Pencil, you get nice feedback when writing on the iPad with the Apple Pencil, as opposed to that plastic on glass feeling. So if you like to take handwritten notes, you can do this in craft and pairing the paper like with the iPad and the Apple Pencil is the ultimate combination for this. And it just makes for a better user experience. If you're interested in checking out Paperlike, I will put my link in the description below to where you can get one. Craft has added a ton of new features, but they've also been improving the performance of the app as well. One feature in particular that I was really excited to see is the fact that you can now pin the sidebar in the iPad app. This was actually something I asked for all the way back in the beta and I'm really glad to see this here. Especially on the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, you just have so much more space, it's nice to have that there. It makes navigating through all the folders so much quicker. And if you're not interested in using it, you can close it. They also added tabs to the iPad app. 
This means you can have multiple notes open in the same window. You don't have to create new windows of craft every time you wanna open a different note. You can also take these tabs and drag and drop them into split view. It's just a nice touch. Now, if you go into the new spaces area, you can set up local storage in there. You can set it to Dropbox or iCloud, or if you just wanna use the on my iPad or on my iPhone section, that's there. Obviously, if you use the local stuff, it, it won't sync. Um, so you just need to keep that in mind. Personally, I'm just gonna stick with Craft and let them store all my notes. They've been really good so far. Sync has been good, it's been solid. So I, I'm pretty happy with it as it is. Right now they have a web editor in beta and I think this is gonna be a huge deal for them. I know a lot of people that like the iPad or the iPhone, but when they go to their day job, they're stuck using a Windows computer. Well, this way you can access all your craft notes on that Windows computer, which is fantastic. Now it is still in beta, so I don't really wanna comment on it if it's good or not, because it's still being worked on, still being cooked. I don't feel that's appropriate, uh, but when it is out completely, I will make a video about it. The last feature I wanna mention is the trash can. They added a trash can in 2021. I know, right? <laughs> but no, seriously, uh, jokes aside, like it's actually kind of nice that they added that. Uh, I accidentally deleted a note that I didn't mean to delete and then I went to recover it and I realized there was no recovery. So I, I, I'm glad that they put that there. Um, it's a good thing to have. Uh, yeah, bravo. Personally, I've gone all in on craft for note taking and research. Uh, I like their implementation. I like what they're doing with the app. They're constantly updating it. Uh, it's not a text editor though. So I saw a lot of people in my last craft video thinking I was done with drafts. No, drafts is my text editor. That's where I, like, I'll, if I'm like writing a script, not necessarily an outline or something, but a script, that's where I'll write it. Uh, newsletter, uh, video descriptions, like text editory stuff still happens in drafts, but notes and research, that's in craft and I'm all in on it for that. If you like these kind of small update videos where I talk about how I'm using an app and maybe a couple of new features and stuff like that, let me know in the comments. It's kind of something new. Typically I do like big videos like once a year talking about like a specific app that I do. Like I just covered things uh, a couple of days ago. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. There's gonna be a ton of iPad stuff coming up that I'm super excited for. And have a great day.